Victoria DeLazy. Hey man, how you doing? Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Okay, Toya DeLazy, an artist. Um, I produce, I sing, I rap. I mix genres quite a bit. Um, I've started. I started doing music a, quite a long time ago. Um, from the age of nine, I was playing keys, uh, classically trained, and then when I turned like 18 I decided to do jazz so I'm classically trained cool. um, jazz pianist and I yeah I love soulful j- sounds I like melding jazz electro and hip-hop um, I never stick to one genre um, in South Africa I've won quite a few awards for the music I make um, oh. best pop album best newcomer right. this was like though 2013 uh, best produced album. So wait, so you're a, a virtuoso pianist and award-winning artist in South Africa. Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> because I just wanted to check. Out, well, how could I put it? I wanted to see the land where Amy Winehouse comes from, cool. the music that's been made, Jimi mm-hmm. Hendrix. I wanted to kind of swim with the influences and yeah just to be in a different space and experience the uk um the vibe i was making before was strictly pop which is great Mm -hmm. and i started changing my sound and i felt my audience would be here um so basically london is the melting pot uh of culture and and everything um so being here for me was a way to experience that. Whereas in South Africa, maybe we're not quite there yet, right. but we're definitely getting there. So it was, you know, when artists decide to go and experience something, yeah, that's what I've done. So uh, I want to get uh, onto your influences in a second, but but now that you mentioned um, the difference between South Africa and here, like, so what's South African, the music scene, what's it missing that, that the London music scene has? Um, variety. I think sometimes we get caught up in just one genre. Mm-hmm. Um, at there was a time where it was like, if it's hip hop, it's hip hop for everyone. If yeah. it's gorm, it's gorm for everyone. Now we're starting to expand. There's different genres coming up. I'm a piano, gorm. Um, it's starting to make space for different sounds. And maybe not the alternative as much as I'd like to, but that's what um, I, I, I experienced this side. Here you'll find all sorts of sounds and there's a lot of different artists. Cool. So, yeah. So back to the actual sound. Um, <laughs> so you're, you're mixing classical jazz and electronic sounds and you mentioned Zulu soulful. grime before or yeah. soulful yeah and you mentioned just, yeah. Zulu grime out there so what's do you have a definition do you just call yourself alternative or like who are you influences would you compare yourself to any specific artists um so the Zulu grime and all that it's left field so I'll call that left field and then there's you'll hear some of the tracks probably in the background yeah that's gonna be more um jep I call it jazz electro hip-hop right yeah so it's yeah, it's it's not all in one. Otherwise, it would be a bit messy. So, I've got a side of me, of course, that wants to be soulful, say some poetry, rap, and flow in a very sensual way. And then there's a side that just wants to be wild and rock out. And okay. that's where I'm experiencing uh, experimenting with genres and um, rather experience experimenting with Zulu mixed with a genre that's not typically you know from South Africa, cool. garage and you know bassline and. So you're both a musician and a, a songwriter. So what um you've described the sound a bit. What about the the lyrical themes? Like what do you touch on? Um. So when I first started, of course, it was things I first fell in love. So I was crazy about that. And then, <laughs> then it was talking about getting out of where the countryside. I started off in Mashabatini. That's where my home is. Mm-hmm. Um. And my journey was to get to the big city. And then next thing I was basically performing nationally next thing internationally so it was all this energy of like empowerment pump it on um and then i just sometimes just um it's it's yeah it varies like are you gonna stay like these are things where you're just talking to your friends or yeah it's personal at at this point I'm just sharing a different sound, a different language, and I just love the way people react to hearing me saying things like "goma" or hearing sounds that they're not particularly used to. In a yeah, in, unless in they're fans of Trevor Noah, in which case, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So, so you, you mentioned a couple of the awards, and I'd love to, to touch on your career highlights, but I think in the interest of time, it would be more interesting to hear about what you got planned. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's going to happen in 2019 and beyond? So that's what I'm working on. At the moment, I'm working on two projects. I don't want to spill all the beans, all right. but two projects, as I've mentioned, I like um, Jep, and I also like, uh, baseline and grime and garage and mm -hmm. left field, this left field side. I'm working on two projects, one which will on a Jep and one which will on a um, left field bass. Cool. Yeah. And is that going to come out later this year? Are you going to perform with it? or Yeah, I'm going to perform with it. All right. Yeah, I'm already performing with it. And any releases in sight people can listen to online? Or? Oh, yes. Um, I dropped Goma yeah. um, earlier this year um, and that's already out. I'm okay. um, going to be releasing the remix which has been made by a homie of mine called Where's My Meds and yeah, it's going to be out this week, this week as well. Where are your meds? <laughs> yeah, where are his meds? <laughs> um, so uh, so you, it sounds like you've been through a whole lot. Um, you've probably had a, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of ups by the sounds of it, maybe some downs as well. Yeah. But what, what's the... Um, was it the takeaway message from your career so far? Is there anything you can pass on to younger musicians? Anything like, this is what I've learned, this is what I would like to, to have told my younger self? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think protect your space. Um, follow your heart and your whatever you want to make. Don't be pushed into something just because maybe people are hyping you for it like follow always follow your heart mm. and um if you love what you're doing like it's the it's the battle half one already so don't judge yourself and think oh no this is awkward just do it give it a try there will be an audience for it um seven billion people i'm sure you'll find your crowd <laughs> yeah cool man um so where can people find you what's your main hangout spot online um instagram I've been like, I've become one of these people though that where I, did, I haven't felt like posting myself. Like I feel like it's so invasive. I don't know, like in, before I used to be like, oh really like, hey, this is me, catch me out. But yeah. now I'm just like, uh, I don't know, probably it's a phase. I don't know if it's a phase or it just feels really invasive. No, you just want to, I, I, yeah. So sometimes you'll catch pictures of me, sometimes I won't post. But definitely if I got music to share, I'll share. If there's something I want to chat about, I'll chat about it. But yeah. But people can find you on Spotify, iTunes, all this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Spotify, that's where all the music is at. Um, Instagram, if you just want to see what I'm up to, mm -hmm. what I decide to share. Uh, Facebook, Facebook, I don't know if it's still popping, but I'm still on Facebook. Cool. We're 450K strong there. Nice. All over Africa and I'm growing the site as well. So, yeah, tune in. People like to chat on the page. Nice. Get chatting. Cool, man. Thanks for your time. Yo, is that something?